Hello my friend, this is Len Mooney here and what I want to do is teach you how to create a banner ad from any image that you may have. So for example, just, just to use this as a simple example, um, some time ago I asked my good friend Sandra Dawson from Ladders to Success if she had any banner ads and she didn't. So I asked for an image and this is the image I got. Now what I want to do with that image, and let me just show you, I'm going to pull up my website and what I want to do with that image is, excuse me for just a moment while it all loads, is I want to create a banner ad on my website that when I click on the banner ad takes me to ladders to success. So that's what I want to accomplish. This is how you do it. All right. Let me get the PowerPoint back up. Okay, so the first step is to upload the image wherever you want it to live. Now, in my case, I actually uploaded the image as a JPEG picture to my WordPress website. Notice the image can live anywhere on the World Wide Web as long as you have a URL for it. So, for example, um, if you're given a URL for the image, not just the JPEG file, but the URL for it, then you can skip this step and you can skip the next step. If not, then this is the media library of my website that you just saw, and this isn't a WordPress training session, so I'm going to assume you know how to upload a file to your media library. And if you don't, feel free to contact me, connect with me. I'll teach you how to do it. It's very simple. But here's that image in my media library. And now I need the URL for that image. And so if I just click on it, it brings me to a page that shows me the image and it gives me the actual URL for the image. So that is the address where the image is stored on the World Wide Web. Now the next thing I know, need, uh, and there I just, I just put it out there uh, so that you can see what it is. Okay, so I have the URL for the image. Now the next thing I need is when somebody clicks on that image, where do I want them to go? That's the destination URL. In my case, I want them to go to http colon backslash backslash sorry, forward slash, forward slash, ladder to success.com. Now note, I probably screwed up here. Uh, I'll admit to it. I probably should use my affiliate link here, but I didn't. I just put in this link. I'm just showing you what I did. Um, you probably, if you're doing this and following this video, you probably want to use your affiliate link so that you get credit if somebody clicks over. So where I want them to go is HTTP, again, forward slash, forward slash, ladders to success.com. Uh, that's the two pieces of information you need. Now some assembly required. Here's the code. Just copy the code. A target equal quotation new quotation href equal um, again um, parentheses or what, what what are these? What's this thing called? Uh, quotations. Where do you want them to go? That's the URL of where you're going to send them. In my case, uh, HTTP www.ladderstosuccess.com. Okay, then and and all these little all these little parts are are important. If you leave one of these parts out, it won't work. Then uh, close that bracket, open that bracket. Image source equal uh, quotation image URL. That's where the image is stored. The image URL. So in my case, it was and we saw this two or three slides ago. There it is. Close that. Now, alt is actually text. It's actually the name of the image. Alt equal open image name close. In my case, I just called it ladders to success. That's what the web crawlers are going to see when they come looking around, snooping around to see what you're doing. And the width and the height are, are in fact that. They are the width and the height in pixels. And if you don't know what to put there, just play. Uh, experiment a little bit. And then the rest of this stuff needs to be there. So the 
the forward slash and the bra these, I don't know what you call these doohickeys. These all, all this stuff needs to be there. Notice this A and that A sort of complement each other and they set this thing aside as a complete piece of HTML code. Now you don't have to know any HTML code. You just have to do exactly what I told you to do. Now that you have this, you've got everything you need. Now, now it's a simple matter of copying and pasting. Now once again, this is not a WordPress training video, so I'm going to assume you know how to load a piece of text into your WordPress site. But where you're going to load it, you're going to copy that text and you're going to put it wherever you want it. In most cases, you're going to put it in the text field of a sidebar. In this case, it's my blog sidebar. It's the second text field in my blog sidebar. I notice all I've done is copy and paste that text in there. So once again, this piece of text is where I want the person who clicks on this little ad to go to, ladders to success.com. This piece right there is the URL of the image, and if somebody gave you a URL, you could use whatever you have for a URL there. This piece is the alt text, what the image is called, and it's its width and height. And bingo, you've got your banner ad. Drum roll, please. So that's all there is to it. It's pretty simple. And again, as I said, there's two steps in the process that if you're totally unfamiliar with how to do any editing in your WordPress site, you'll have to give them to your web developer to do for you. Uh, if you don't know how to do it, but you do know how to log into your WordPress back office, you've got your login and password, then feel free to connect with me and I will help you. That's all there is. This is Len. You have a wonderful day. Bye for now.